Uttarakhand, the abode of the mighty Himalayas, a treasure house of gorgeous flora and fauna, and a reviving holiday retreat. The new friendships, laughter and conversation made this such a memorable experience. We enjoyed hot coffee and goodies in a musty bakehouse in Landor and walked through its British era streets witnessing a blissful sunset. We were welcomed by the snow-capped Himalayan view while we walked through the eco park in Dhanauti. In Main Masuri, we saw some unique street art while enjoying refreshing beverages. You could also take a cable car to the top of the mountain and enjoy the panoramic view. We ate at a cute cafe which had great food with a scenic landscape. We visited Tihiri which has India's largest dam and some dancing cows. You could enjoy water sports at the lake, however, we chose to relax in the great therapeutic atmosphere. We spent two days in cottages in the middle of the forest, feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. The fresh streams, the bonfire, and real connections, this made it a unique experience. We hiked through the forest to the mountain top. It was a fun group activity that left you feeling accomplished. The views along the way were simply breathtaking. We stopped at a town called Sahasradhara, meaning thousandfold spring. It had a ropeway providing an airy ride to the mountain top and is one of the most popular tourist destinations located in Dehradun. We then headed to the yoga capital of the world, Rishikesh. We stayed at the Aloha on the Ganges, where the infinity pool overlooked the mountains and the Ganges, creating a serene atmosphere. Waking up to views like this kept us in our Zen zone throughout our trip. A famous landmark at Rishikesh is the suspension bridges of Ram and Lakshman Jula. We got there in an auto rickshaw called the Vikram that could accommodate up to 10 people. Every evening as dust descends, the Ganga Arti is performed at the three holy cities of Haridwar, Rishikesh and Varanasi. The Arti is carried out facing the river. The lamps are lit and circled around by the Hindu priests accompanied by songs in praise of Mother Ganga. On a daily basis, about 50 to 100 people visit this place. Following the Arthi, we stumbled upon a ghat on the Ganga and took in the peaceful, serene river flowing by. On the last day, we went river rafting on the Ganga. We had an opportunity to jump off a cliff where a lot of people conquered their fears and felt triumphant. Uttarakhand, this charming getaway will leave you mesmerized and transformed forever.